Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Talking Timeshares with Timeshare Users Group. Today, we're going to ruffle some feathers and talk about an extremely disappointing discovery regarding a particular industry website intended to help timeshare owners looking for help trying to sell their timeshare. For those of you who have never heard the term ARDA, it stands for the American Resort Development Association, which is an organization that represents timeshare resort developers and will otherwise be known for the remainder of this video as the industry. And if you want to take a closer look at your maintenance fee statements, for those of you that might own at larger developer-controlled resorts, we'll notice a voluntary contribution automatically included in your annual maintenance fee bill. Why would a voluntary contribution be automatically included in your annual dues every year? I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. However, the end result is millions of dollars a year paid by thousands and thousands of timeshare owners directly to ARDA. While we could spend an entire video discussing that little tidbit, it's not the focus of this particular video. What we're going to talk about tonight is a relatively new development. A few years back, Arta created a website called ResponsibleExit.com. This website was intended as a way to combat the influx of timeshare exit and or cancellation companies that have sprung up in this industry today, targeting timeshare owners looking for ways to get out of an unwanted timeshare. This website was designed to help owners get in touch with their resorts directly so that they could give back their unwanted timeshare ownerships directly to the resort without having to go through a third party. At the time of its inception, Tug applauded this effort as it seemed, at face value, a very legitimate endeavor by the industry to try and help timeshare owners. Sadly, as the old saying goes, all good things, the promise of a quick and easy way to give back an unwanted timeshare now it turns out to be not so quick or easy anymore for many owners. More on that topic in a later video. The real issue is a brand new page that has popped up on the ResponsibleExit.com website titled Recommended Resale Providers. This at first glance appears to be a real benefit and resource for owners who are looking for help to sell their timeshare. The problem with this is, is this page contains recommendations for companies that are known to charge huge upfront fees for their services in efforts to market and resell a timeshare. These companies also rely in convincing owners that they can get huge amounts of money for their timeshare on the resale market. Upfront fee resale companies have been a black eye on this industry for decades. Year in and year out, the industry does next to nothing to curb, prevent, or otherwise educate on why they should avoid companies that charge large upfront fees. Because they know in doing so, the industry would have to acknowledge the staggering depreciation of a timeshare when trying to sell on the resale market. Sadly, it seems ignoring the problem was not enough, and now Arda is going out of their way to actively promote upfront fee resale companies to owners looking for help. This brings up a number of questions for me personally, starting first and foremost with, what the f*** Arda? We have regularly criticized the industry, year in and year out, for not taking a more proactive stance against upfront fee resale companies and other common schemes that actively target timeshare owners looking for help to exit an unwanted timeshare. Seeing the industry itself go out of its way to actively promote some upfront fee resale companies to owners is an absolute slap in the face to every single timeshare owner who either knowingly or unknowingly has paid that voluntary contribution. The golden rule on Tug is to always avoid any company that asks you to pay a large upfront fee to sell your timeshare. This has been our mantra for almost 30 years for good reason as it will protect you as an owner from 100% of the schemes that are out there. Perhaps some of you out there will disagree with our opinion and consider this new website a valuable resource for timeshare owners looking for help to sell a timeshare. Or perhaps this revelation will encourage you as an owner to take a closer look at your annual maintenance fee bill and check to see if you're actually voluntarily contributing to ARTA and consider just what that automatic voluntary contribution will be used for should you continue to pay it. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Talking Timeshares. As always, have a wonderful day and happy timesharing.